promise of the party almost made everybody's living conditions bearable. The boredom, the anxiety, the despair, the pain, the pain, the pain. It was all bearable this week because there was going to be a party. time to go to the party. Everybody started to get tense. They started to say to themselves, what if the party isn't any good? I hate boring parties. I'd rather stay home. Why go out? I could get killed. I don't need this. It's raining out. Besides, what if it was a good party? What if it was the best party ever? Then, something to look forward to. I'm still young. This is no time to go to a party. It's raining out. I'm going to call all my friends and tell them not to go. So nobody went to the party. And it was truly, truly, truly the best party ever. Hello there, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Just relax, baby. Me and this other cat will straight you out. This is a new departure in language instruction for English-speaking people who want to talk to and be understood by jazz musicians, hipsters, beatniks, juvenile delinquents, and the criminal friends. The time to make a phone call. The Twilight World of the American Hipsters is an important American subculture with a language all its own. To enable you to speak this language of hip exactly like the hipsters themselves, we've provided an actual hipster correct pronunciation and delivery of his language. Ladies and gentlemen, your instructor, Mr. D. Roman. It's going to be a long session there. Let's have some speech. Just when I think I'm getting tired of you again. You just want to say this is a wonderful speech. You turn right back to me, that special smile again.
concept of digging is big. That's your game wrong. How would you find a big? You know, man, like when you dig something. Well, yes, you know, dig it. It's like, you know, when you dig some chicken, some gas, you know, when you pick up on something, you dig it. To dig them would mean to like, to understand, or to appreciate. It's like, no, it's more like, uh, you know, you dig. You know what is a quarter tone? Like, you get a note in there between C and C sharp, and that's its own sound. No doubt some of the expressions Mr. Romo has just used are unfamiliar to you. Let's examine some of these phrases more closely. Mr. Dietz Romo, your instructor, will pronounce a series of hip words and phrases. After each one, there will be a pause so that you can repeat the phrase aloud. Mr. Romo. Dig. Dig it. Dig yourself, baby. Dig the chick. Dig the cat. Dig the shades. Yeah, that's where it's at. Dig. Square. What a drag. What a break that. Later for that, man. Get it. Greetings and farewell. Greetings. Do you have any idea how boring this must be? What a drag. Hey, what's happening, man? What's shaking, man? Hey, there you go. Hey, and farewell. Hey, I'm gonna split. This is 
is a drag. I'm gonna cut. You got eyes to split? Let's make it. You're going up town? I got wheels. Wanna ride? Let's go back. Yeah, we're gonna get in the wheel. Let me go. something happening for her, you say that, she can say. What you mean is like she's a, uh, what do you call it, you know, uh, a good person. Uh, would you say the hipster's preoccupation with insanity would indicate a rejection, or at least a deep questioning, of the traditional separation of normal and abnormal sanity and insanity? In other words, a deliberate reassessment and reevaluation of the bourgeois standard of morality and... Uh, no, 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 I, I wouldn't say that. No, I would never say that. Dick. Say you're talking about this chap. Say he's a musician, and he really makes it, you think? I mean, he's into something. He's free, and he's free. Then you see that cat has got a loose. Because it's very important to work on your brain. Smash your brain, you know, crack them. Yeah? That's when it can start happening. St. Teresa once used the phrase, breaking the mind's very She did, and that's very hip. St. Teresa swings, so the St. John of the Cross. I mean, you know, it's better.
write poems, Fred? You think you might uh, make a good songwriter? Let me tell you something. If you got some poems, or if you feel like you can write some poems, you don't have to write the music. That's done by Music City Song Crafters of Nashville, Tennessee. That's their business. They analyze thousands of poems written by folks just like you and me to see if they're suitable to be set to music. You write the words, they fit them to music. So if you like to write poems, investigate today. Send your poems right now to Poem. P-O-E-M. Poem. Or to me, John R. W-L-A-C. Nashville, Tennessee. When there's something Seems like a waste of time. It's got you losing sleep at night. It's hard to find the way out when you're blinded by the light. If we can leave it all behind, start from scratch and watch the stars align. Nothing's written in advance.
Ford Fiesta, imported from Germany to California because Fiesta has what California needs. It was designed for stability on Europe's high-speed autobahns. It was engineered for continued response with front-wheel drive, rack and pinion steering, and Michelin radials. It has California EPA ratings of 43 miles per gallon highway, 30 city. Ford Fiesta, the feeling of Europe right here in California, at your California Ford dealer.
Sputnik 1 in orbit. The heartbeat of the dog Laika in space. G build up. Three. Six. Nine. Okay. Okay. Astronaut Alan Shepard in the grip of nine G's.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. We will return to our regularly scheduled program momentarily. Please stay tuned. We expect to resume normal broadcasting shortly. Be sure to stay tuned for Jeopardy!
dumb. Take one of our courses, and your brain will be numb. Yes, friends, at Waisaki College, for the totally dumb, we have openings right now in our spring semester. You'll have a chance to excel in great courses like basket weaving, advanced shoe tying, or try beginning lip reading. Sign up today for a course that interests you. Waisaki College, for the totally dumb. You'll never even know you've been there. Waisaki College, for the totally dumb. The Chicago and Kansas concert in Boston has been changed to the Kansas and Boston concert in Chicago.
that the city is a funny place. Something like a circus or a zoo. Kansas concert in Boston has been changed to the Kansas and Boston concert in Chicago. If you have tickets, keep them. They will be honored at the door. They had a great big garbage party. They had given up trying to clean up the mess. They said, we didn't start the fire. We can't put it out. So let's make it burn as bright as possible. And they all took their garbage to the big garbage party and they made a big mess. Biggest mess ever, cause they were all gonna die of the plague or be burnt to a crisp by the fire. They had a great big garbage party, they threw garbage at each other, they went swimming in the garbage, they ate the garbage and made love in the garbage. They didn't care, they didn't care, they were all gonna die. They just didn't care and they had a great big garbage party and then they all went home. They all went home and they waited to die. They all went home and they all went to sleep. And while they were sleeping, something happened. When they woke up, the plague was over and the fire was out and they weren't going to die. They were going to live forever. The garbage was still there. And they had to live with it. They had to live with it forever. And after a few thousand years, they had cleaned up a bit. But they knew they could never get it the way it was before the great big garbage party. They had to live with it forever. <laughs> <laughs> 